What's up? I'm Dylan Hughes. We're here with my new friend Mike, and he's the owner of this beautiful NSX you see here behind us. So we are going to do a Royal Purple Whip check. So, Mike, tell me a little bit about this thing. What what year is it? What what's it all about? So this is a 1991 NSX. I picked it up last August. It has about 82,000 miles on it. Nice factory five-speed, black interior. It's been like a childhood dream car, Mike. Right, right. Finally been able to lock it in. You know, we always kind of start on the smaller side when we start getting into cars and right. I had a big history with Hondas and stuff and eventually was able to lock this in. Dude, these things are gorgeous and really, really rare. So how long did it take you looking before you were able to find this one? So I, surprisingly, I actually found this one within like a, about three or four weeks of looking. Oh, okay. Um, I had been saving up throughout of last year to get there and probably about like when I was 90% of the way, I started looking and asking around and right. stuff like that. And by the time that I had what I needed, this car came up, guy was super nice, flew out after a round of drifting last year and uh, drove it back from North Carolina. Very so. cool. So I, it's fairly safe to say that this thing, it, you did not buy it like this. No, safe no, to say this that, car right? was factory body. Uh, it did come on some black TE37s and uh, some old team coilovers. Okay. But everything else was stock. Okay. So I just, child i was a child the whole right way right yeah just right like just geeking, geeking out right white yeah. knuckling it the whole yeah. way it was so crazy so cool man well it's awesome to see this thing looks unbelievable the black is just like so so clean so thank you and uh, i was just talking to chris here at the k&n booth because yeah. that's where we're, that's where you got this thing yep. uh uh parked out here so i noticed that like this so this this is actually a wide body car correct yes yeah, so Got it stock body. My favorite kit for this car is by Marga Hills. They're like a small kind of hole in the wall Japanese company. And uh, they've been making body kits for uh, NSX's Type R's. Uh, I think a couple 240s, a couple okay. two generations of 240s. Um, but before I even got this thing, I knew that this was the kit that I wanted. Right. So about a month after buying the car, I bought the kit, waited about six months for it. Came in <laughs> in like March of this year and then immediately just got straight to work doing body work, getting every panel straight and uh, everything. These cars are cool because everything unbolts like a Corvette. So the Ooh, quarter panels, okay. a quarter panels come right off. New quarter panels go right oh, on. Oh, that's so cool. So you don't have to cut up the body exactly. right? like you would on a 240 or something exactly. like that. Exactly. So this is my favorite kit. I love the way that it continues the body lines into the wide body and the car being black. It keeps everything subtle. Yeah. It's not a very in-your-face wide body, and I just, I love it. Right, and is this is this bagged or is it static? It's on air, okay. so the uh, management is by Airlift, uh, okay. Airlift 3P. I got friends out there. Um, the bags are by Universal Air, and uh, I got those from my friends over at Bag Riders. Okay. That stuff came in, immediately threw it on the car when it still had the TE37s on it. Um, and then just kind of dialed stuff in for the new wheels and so cool. all that. Dude, it's absolutely gorgeous. You think we'd take a look at the motor? Yeah, yeah which for looks sure. Which super clean, which is kind of crazy because you can like see it through the back, which is yeah. not super normal for like drifty stuff. So these cars have factory like black cloth engine covers. Oh, okay. Um, which I took off for the event so that you can see the engine through the glass. Mostly stock, obviously has a K&N drop-in filter, uh, cool. but I do have DC Sport headers on the car oh, and cool. a uh, Arc React Racing uh, cat back from there. Okay. So uh, it's pretty much, I mean, that exhaust stuff is fairly old, sure. came from a long time ago, but... Uh, What's the displacement again? 3.0. 3.0, okay. Yep. So the early generation from 91 to I think 97 or 98 was a 3.0. Then they transitioned to 3.2 okay. for uh, the six-speed cars. Cool. So Man, it's gorgeous. This thing is in a really good shape, man. I think you found you definitely found a gem. This thing is gorgeous. Thank you. I love it. I appreciate it. it. So freaking cool. I mean, the back of these cars is so iconic to me. It's got like, and I think that probably the best thing about it is the black. The black with the rear, with the red on the rear is just it's unbelievable to me, right? And then of course you got your, your black license plate. You were just talking Correct. about that a second ago. What's yeah, up with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I wanted, I just wanted everything to kind of flow with the car. Um, Keep it dark. Yeah, yeah, you know, this car just it black everything and uh, the plate just fit. Um, obviously have a diffuser on the back. That's a diff low, uh, five element rear diffuser. Gorgeous, so. I absolutely love it. Can we check the inside out real yeah. quick? Yeah, for sure. 
So obviously incredibly clean going with the black theme. So little tilt up steering wheel, shift yep. knob action. What else we got in this thing? So most of the interior is stock. The only two things that I did, like you said, was steering wheel uh, and shift knob. Steering wheel is actually a new old stock JDM Type S steering wheel that came factory in uh, NSX Type S's back in the 90s. And I was able to find that, source that, was able to get it, and uh, I paired it with a Works Bell, wrap fix, uh, tilt hub, and it's one of my favorite combos, my favorite steering wheel. Um, Man, it's, it's clean. It is so incredibly clean. clean in here. Brand new leather, it's 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 a really nice The touch. guy that you bought it from really took care of it. He did, and the factory seats, I mean, these are 31 years old, and wow. they look like they have 10,000 miles I on mean, them. literally, they, they literally so. look brand new. Like, it's unbelievable the condition it's in. The only other thing was the shift knob, which is by my friends at Racing. I wanted kind of that kind of Tomei style shift knob, but perforated with leather to kind of match the seats and stuff like that. And that's about it. It looks perfect, man. Interior. And this is uh, your airlift controller for the Correct. bags? Yeah, so I just keep this out here. I did have it in here at one point, but then I always had to keep this open. So I just took this apart, rerouted the wire so that it just sits right here. Is and, that uh, like an old iPod? <laughs> it looks like one, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of does. But, cool. uh, All right, let's check the front out. Yeah. So like crazy with this thing being on bags, it is so low to the ground in the front. Yeah. This thing looks so mean with the black. So yeah. tell us about a little bit about this front bumper setup. Um, so front bumper, Marga Hills. Um, one of my favorite kits for the car, like I had said, is a very minimalist kit when it comes to changing like the factory pieces. Like it looks very similar to the factory front bumper, just adds kind of a lower, you know, outer lip. Sure, on top. sure. Uh, Flows with everything really well. Like it just, it's just a all around really good body kit. You chose the right one for yeah. sure. This looks so good. Did you repaint the whole car or did you just paint match the, the we black only, body We panels? only paint match the kit. Okay, cool. So, Man, you can't even tell. I know, at my, uh, my friend Randy at Sarat Built Performance. Um, he did a phenomenal job on the bodywork and the paint, matched it perfectly, um, and I, I couldn't be more stoked at how it came out. Mike, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I Thank really you appreciate so your much, time. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Right on.